And I think everybody, in, I guess most Irish players in this ground, certainly want to see him stay on the park. Well, he has Lansdowne Road belted out the fields of Athen Rye with such gusto at the start of the second half. Belief before the match has been hardened over the opening 40 minutes, but this All Black side are not considered the greatest of all time for no reason. Dempsey immediately puts them under pressure though, and Mertens did well to hang on. This is the try scorer, Chris Jack. Howlett, who helped to set up the try, the right winger, but again another big tackle by Anthony Foley. Crossing, not forward, and it'll be a scrum to Ireland, but Ireland have picked up where they ended the first half, and Anthony Foley typifying this. They have, it was a wonderful tackle by Foley, but really what set it up was a very poor kick by Andrew Mertens. And ball in, ball in hand, he seems an awful lot more assured today, which is not what you'd expect with Mertens. His kicking has been very, very off-colour, and ultimately has given attacking options and momentum back to the Irish side on most occasions. That's the 22. This is Humphreys. O'Driscoll. Haven't really seen much in an uh, attacking sense of O'Driscoll yet. Kevin Maggs has caught the eye more often, the man taking the ball in there. Stringer, Miller, O'Driscoll offering himself, but Miller choosing the dummy. Foley again driving over. Mags is down injured at the moment. Now he's back on his feet, back to full complement island. Humphreys, O'Driscoll! Almost there! Hickey! Try! Oh, wonderfully taken. For a minute we thought O'Driscoll was going to warm out to that and go himself. But great presence of mind just to stay on his feet and make that pass to Dennis Hickey. Again, great Irish pressure, a great continuity. Peter Clausey taking the ball on out, well supported by Malcolm O'Kelly to win that ball, but a wonderful pass from Humphreys that really gave O'Driscoll the momentum and a great slip to Dennis Hickey. He deserves that. Again, look at that pass, it was perfect. We're talking split seconds here. If that pass had been in any way behind, the momentum would have been lost and New Zealand would have been able to defend it. Wonderful try. Just what Ireland needed to, to get back on top of this game again because a 16-7 margin is nothing against a team like New Zealand. But mentally, that will be a blow to New Zealand. Warren Gatland, what is he thinking at the moment? The conversion, by the way, has been missed by David Humphrey, so it remains at 21-7.